we have seen a few of them, and picket lines can tend to look the same. You've got the striking workers, you've got the signs, the chants, and a lot of times the demands sound kind of similar too. Higher wages, everybody wants that, more staffing, that kind of thing. But this strike today in Daly City called out something different, something that sounds like the ultimate irony. 400 healthcare workers at Seton Medical Center say their health care is so bad, it's actually putting them at risk. They're demanding the hospital reverse recent changes to its health care plan. They say starting in January, they were given an impossible choice. Pay $6,000 to keep seeing their regular doctors or accept a much more restricted plan that severely limits access to pediatric and ob care and only works at a select few facilities. I have been trying to get an MRI myself, and I have been unable to uh, get authorization for that because they don't want to take their own workers here as patients. Another Seton worker tells our Kelsey Thor the new plan is limiting coverage for her family. Rochelle Ortua has worked at Seton Medical Center for years. She loves the community of people at the hospital and grew up just blocks from its campus. But now Rochelle says she's in a tough spot. She says the hospital changed its health insurance provider, significantly limiting where Rochelle's family, including her six-month-old daughter, can get care. Her pediatric doctor was no longer covered. And um, my OB is not covered. Um, we're now out of network with all of our doctors. Rochelle lives in Sunnyvale. She says her new insurance only works at Seton and John Muir Health, both of which are close to or even more than an hour away. She says she worries night and day about what would happen and how much it would cost if her daughter had a medical emergency. I grew up with chronic asthma and I grew, I actually have a food allergy and Right now, at this point, what stresses me out the most is we're starting her on baby food. So she's learning how to eat baby food. Um, I'm afraid that what if she has an allergic reaction to some kind of food? Or what if she ends up having asthma like me? Rochelle told me she feels betrayed. I work full time for a hospital and it's not fair that I have to worry on whether or not I can afford to get my daughter proper health care when I give up how many, how many hours of my day, instead of being home with her, I have to be at work. That's why Rochelle joined hundreds of her co-workers on a two-day strike outside the hospital, demanding better benefits. She told me she's doing all of this, picketing, speaking out, for one reason and one reason only, to make sure her daughter has the medical care she needs and deserves. I'm only fighting for my daughter. That is the only reason, one of the main reasons why I'm, I'm in this strike. Rochelle told me she plans on coming back out here and joining the picket line again on Tuesday. She says she hopes this strike shows the hospital just how serious these workers are about making these changes. So for its part, Seton says it's already offered a 16% pay hike over three years, along with free medical benefits and up to 400 hours annually of accrued PTO. It added in a statement, we are disappointed with the union's decision to walk off the job in the middle of our negotiations at the expense of patient care. The hospital went on to say its priority is to provide uninterrupted care to patients.